Hey guys, let me ask you this. How many mistakes have you made so far? I'm sure you haven't realized that there are mistakes, so I'm going to be pointing them out in this video. Okay guys, so moving on to the topic on mistakes. Again, I mentioned earlier that you might have made this but haven't realized that you made this so first mistake um i think you guys should be aware that when you click on your squad you click on deploy then you have these okay so this one the ank glyph do not mistake do not create the mistake of not using this because this one is really really a lifesaver in terms of doing your matches doing your battles so the healing of um six uh three six five for artifact attack is actually good that's the max i'm already at level four so i'm it's giving me 330 of course at level one it's very small it's at 285 but it's easier this this glyph is actually easier to level up because of the rarity it's um it's r and it's it's really it, it actually costs you what you call this four fusion points and two rounds cooldown as well but again this one gives you a timely heal you can do this manually or you can use this on auto just have to make sure that your timing in the placement is correct but this glyph is really a lifesaver in terms of your matches and sometimes it, you're, you're down to a couple of hp and this glyph saves you so don't disregard this glyph i continue continuously use it up until now so please make sure that you level this up don't make the mistake of not um leveling it up use it probably until the mid game until you find a better one a super better one that you could replace it with but for the early game please use it um it's a very good glyph to use okay so next up uh just in case um, this is going to be probably your mistake number two so for example for the expedition you already have you know you can't go beyond a certain stage anymore and you notice that you have um an excess of um energy so what do you do with this energy if you cannot use it anymore if you cannot progress beyond the maximum stage so currently i am at uh, this is 10 so this is my max i cannot progress more for the expedition or the story so where do i use this again you go back to your squad you take a look at um let's say for example dina Go to boost and go to augment. Okay, take note for augment. You may farm these through the story. So this is where you're going to be, you know, uh, using your energy because this will require a lot of energy. So, and this levels you up faster. All of my figures are, are all of my cases are at the uh, augment five so again the higher you go for augment the harder it is to augment them and they require more material so if you have excess energy don't spend them anywhere spend them on augment and farm those materials um this one will also mention if you've cleared that stage or not so if you've cleared that stage please do spend your extra energy there Okay, my third um, tip for you guys, so though you don't have, you, know, you, you won't make this mistake. So focus on, if you go back, sorry, I forgot. Um, if you have a certain team already, focus on one team. Focus on a core, do not, do not summon a lot of SSRs left and right. Just focus on a, a you know, a single, or for example, a core, like for example, my core here is going to be Fenriru, uh, Yulia, and um, Kiki. So 
at this point, I'm focusing on the team. I'm not wasting my summons with any other banner. So let's say, for example, how do you know that you need a specific type of uh, case to complement your roster? So you go through the link. So at this point, I'm only lacking icon. There's a... I need icon to activate a couple of links. So as of now, what I'm doing is I'm saving up for icon. Again, focus on the team that you're building. Your reference is going to be the link that you see here. So once you activate some of the links or you have them here on your team, then the better or the stronger your team is. So again, focus on for here. It's going to be Mori, but I'm actually saving up for Iken just in case her banner comes in. My point is, if you focus on a, a single team, probably interchanging only one, two, or three, and having a core of three, it will be easier for you to, to get stronger faster and focus only on the cases that you really, really need and wait for their banner. So don't make the mistake of expanding too much on your SSRs because some of them, even if they're good, you won't be able to use them because they don't have much copy. So again, the stronger your cases are will be when you have multiple copies of them. So if you can see here in my case collection, I do have a lot. Um, but I'm focusing on a specific team. I have Garula at two star, Baphomet at two star, Set at one star, Camellia at one star, Star at one star. But these I'm not using because I'm focusing on my team. Once you have leveled those, you know, the, the, your primary team, probably you could branch out to other teams or other themes of combat. Like, for example, if you want to focus on a burn team. Then you can expand to that. So, so so far, I have a lot of good other good cases here, but I'm not using them again because I want to focus on the team that has carried me uh, much. As Nezana is actually still here. When I get Iken, then I would probably replace Nezana with Iken, or probably I would re replace my own avatar with Iken. It really really depends on. Uh, team composition and how I playtest it. But again, the point is focus on one team, focus on a few banners so that that team would be stronger as you progress. Okay, so tips. Um, other tips for this one. Don't forget to farm um, the shop. You might be wondering which one. So the purchase center here. Um, there are certain items here that I'd like you to focus on. So this one, the, the draw procurement, um, you have refreshes here. Uh, this is free. So you can refresh this and see what, what, you know, what you have. This currency is actually the draw points is actually going to be used here. So if you have extra draw points, Please do go through these. These are chips or biochips or fragments that you can use to get copies of um, of uh, cases that you have or cases that you want to acquire. So you just refresh these as much as possible. You have to use draw points. Um, don't use these unless your this is your summon currency unless you really need that fragment already. So. I don't have any more because I used it on Dina. So I'm at zero. But again, use your draw points here. Um, if if this if you have a lot, do this every day, refresh every day, and choose which ones do you need. Um, you also have your artifacts here. So again, this is a good source of copies for your artifacts and for your cases. So moving on to the other ones, this one is also good. So this is for your affinity. So do this. This one is, you'll have to watch out for this, the generic biochip three. This is weekly limited. Um, as we go down for the abyss, for the abyss as well, you will eventually 
go through each level do not purchase these these are you know these are easily um farmed as you are a beginner these ones some of these you'll have to purchase um do not forget because again um this has a limited amount every day the ones that you have to purchase eventually is are these so and also this is going to ha give you only five so for conquest uh let me just uh finish finish up some of these so these ones eventually if they open up to you you'll have to farm these every day because th these refresh daily uh purification this one is also important because this this gives you copies of your artifacts as well syndicate this one uh farm these every day so my point is go through the store every day and see what you can get uh for those uh the store what i mean is the purchase center look through it every day and farm it every day for the um if you have the available resources okay so let us go to your expedition so probably during the expedition you've seen this icon some of you guys might not have seen this so for those who have uh, who have opened these you can actually clear these and get shards of or fragments of your um what do you call this your cases here but as you have cleared them you can no longer progress through and farm so don't forget on your lower right hand there is a quick battle here you can select all of the cases that you can farm daily note that they are only srs but as you begin this game you will need them because they're very important as you start out so right now i only have snezhana left in my lineup but um i want to farm one as well i've been farming iriri actually for quite a while so even though i'm not using her i'm still farming for her biochip again i might i might use her down the line so again for the farming here these are srs and rs so please do farm srs so that you could complement your roster early stage and you can farm some of them here and guys the last one that i won't you know i will impart to you as a tip don't make the mistake of ignoring this bell icon because this one reminds you guys of what tasks you have left so as you can see here i have unclaimed it's reminding me so also here it's reminding me as well to claim my rewards so if uh let's just finish this off and see if it stops ringing okay so let's see the bell right now still ringing it has additional rewards and count so again there are a lot of things that i have to finish for my account so the bell is a reminder if it moves you still have some tasks to do do not ignore it do not you know if you have mislooked about this um, regarding this bell please do give it a second look so that you can take or or finish all of the tasks that are remaining for your account so those are the things that i think you should not miss guys because um some of you are beginning this game and some of you probably haven't seen it haven't thought about it or haven't pressed it so those are the tips i showed you one two uh three four five six tips uh, uh mistakes to avoid for this video so anyway guys thank you very much for staying this far take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here